to my channel, Susan's Just Making It. I'm Susan, and as always, I'm here making stuff, messes, chaos, and just trying to make it through life. If you've been here before, welcome back, and if this is your first time watching, welcome to my channel. Hope everyone's doing great today, and if you liked today's video, remember that thumbs up. So, today's video is a two-channel collab with my channel, Susan's Just Making It, and Lori Latimer. Not too long ago, I put up a community post asking other YouTube creators if they would be interested in doing any eyeshadow look collabs, trying to justify my out of control eyeshadow palette collection. So Lori was nice enough to reach out and said that she would be willing to do a collab with me. So we were discussing what palette to use for the collab and she mentioned Juvia's Place Garden of Juvia's and I was really excited when she mentioned that palette because I just recently got this. I've not played in it yet aside from doing some swatches and I absolutely love this palette. I've been seeing it on Instagram and swatches and looks and I'm like I have to have it. So I broke down and got it and I am so happy that she chose this palette. So thank you Lori for picking like a palette I've been dying to get into. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the palette real quick. I'm not gonna do swatches because it would take too long. There's quite a few pans in here and they're gorgeous. But I would recommend that you stay to the end of the video because there will be a giveaway. So um, before I start, I do want to mention I just filled in my brows and put on eyeshadow primer. So other than that, I have a bare face. I'm going to do my eye look, go off camera to clean up fallout and do the rest of my face. And then I'll be back with the final look and the giveaway. <laughs> so this is why I... I'm so excited to get into this. This is the perfect spring palette, and I am sure that that was her thinking as well, with it being springtime, finally. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I mean, just amazing. Like I said, I don't want to take up a lot of time doing swatches, but this yellow up here has a gorgeous shift in this green as well. Amazing. The shimmers are just I was swatching them earlier to decide what colors I wanted to try to play with and it was, oh my gosh, you're so pretty, I don't even know what ones to go with. But this is a palette we're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and start playing with this palette and see what I can do. Um, I'm thinking there was something I wanted to mention. Thoughts come in and they go out as fast. Now I'm sure many of you watching are very familiar with Lori's channel. If you're not, please go check out her video. Lori is an amazing beauty content creator. She is so super, super knowledgeable about skincare. She usually is the one that does our playlist for Mask Monday Ladies. Um, in the event that she can't put it together, someone usually jumps in and, and makes a playlist. And her makeup looks are just amazing. I don't think she could ever not do an amazing eyeshadow look. If you haven't watched her channel, you have to go check out her content. And she is a really, really sweet person. So I'm sure you guys are already familiar with her, but if not, make sure to check her out. Um, her video will be linked down below. So I'm going to try to find a decent brush. I've been doing a lot with eyeshadow lately and have been too lazy to clean brushes. So see what I have to work with. I'm just going to go on with a shadow brush and I'm going to put down a transition shade to build on. And I think I'm going to go in with this shade that's Oh Honey because it's um, pretty much the most neutral matte color in there. So I'm just going to pick some up. And there's no mirror on the palette, so I have to use this one beside me. So I apologize that I'm going to be glancing over here a lot because. There's no mirror. So, I'm just going to pat this in and then go back and blend it. It's looking really dark, but I'm going to blend it in. Just want to get it on my eyes. I'm going to try not to take forever. Um, most of you that watch my channel know that I am learning as I go, <laughs> so I'm still a little awkward. Sometimes it takes me a little bit longer than it does others. And I do apologize for that, but I'm going to try not to take super long. So you can watch both videos and enter both giveaways. As soon as she and I decided on a palette and we decided, you know, we were going to kind of go 
springish. I already knew what I wanted to include in my giveaway, so I hope you guys like it. Um, for those of you that celebrate Easter, we're only a few days away. I know, um, like I said, you know, not everybody celebrates all the same holidays. But for you, those of you that celebrate, like if you have children or grandchildren, it's always nice for those that still dress them up for Easter. They all, the kids look so cute dressed up in their Easter finest. And then spring, I hope the weather cooperates wherever you are if the kids are dressing up because there's nothing worse than picking out the most cutest outfit and then the weather is kind of rainy. <laughs> it's rainy here today. We're in our April showers. So that's always fun watching the little kids get dressed up and the adults too in their Sunday finest for Easter. And um, looking all spiffy. And I don't think people do it as much as they used to, but. I know a lot of families still do. And then those of you that are having Easter egg hunts for the kids, they always are a lot of fun for the young ones. I think for the adults too, hiding this stuff, but. However you celebrate, whether it's, you know, with the Easter baskets and the egg hunts, or if it's going to church on Sunday. I hope those of you that observe the Easter holiday have a lot of fun and the weather cooperates and everything I have plans this weekend I don't do as much with Easter I will admit I don't go to church as much as I should I really should get it back into the habit of it I always feel um, I don't know I get a lot out of the messages when I go to attend Sunday service but um, I don't know. I don't do as much with Easter wise now that my kids are grown. I don't see my grandson that often, unfortunately. And Artemis isn't even here yet, so hopefully when she comes, we'll be able to do a lot of that stuff. Okay, so I have that laid down for a little bit of something to work with. I think I'm going to go in now with this lilac you up here, this light lavender color lilac color they have there's a little bit of a deeper purple here and then this is a little bit lighter I'm gonna go on with a lighter one and just put a little bit of that above the color I just put on so yeah so that's gonna be exciting you know I think as grandparents um, it's always interesting to see how different your grandchildren are um, are raised versus how you raised your children so a new little one always a little sense of mystery and something new and we all learn personalities and you know, watching someone grow and learn so I'm excited like I mentioned, I don't have a lot planned necessarily for the Easter holiday, but um, the baby shower is Saturday, so I'm excited. I'm excited. It's so nice to see Zach and Jada excited about their upcoming arrival. And the shower means time's getting close, so it's exciting. Okay, so I put that lilac lavender shade above it. I think it kind of softened the um, honey color. Like I said, I'm just going to try to go kind of quick, for me anyway, and just do like a little, nice little casual spring eye look. Well, starting that way. We'll see how it ends up. Yeah, I really like this. I like because this shade, it gives a hint of color without being... Um, too overly bold. Very pretty. And like I said, I opened this palette this morning to kind of swatch a few colors. I'm like, okay, what colors do I want to go with? It's hard to narrow it down. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, for a really light everyday look, I think stopping now would even work with some mascara and a lip gloss. But we're not doing that. 
Let's see, I'm going to grab another brush here. Like I said, I don't have a lot to choose from because cleaning brushes is on my to-do list that has not been done. I don't understand how I have a to-do list that keeps getting longer <laughs> instead of shorter. I'm still trying to figure that one out. I'm trying to find more of a packing brush. I guess we're going to do wet and wild packing brush. I know I definitely want to go in with... Um, I was trying to decide between these two um, purple shades. We have this one which is called um, Purple Orchid and it's got more blue in it and then this one is um, Blooming which is a, a lighter purple. This is gorgeous. I'm very tempted to play with this but I'm going to go a little bit lighter so I'm going to use this one. The swatches for that um, Purple Orchid are oh my gosh. Like I said it's got a little bit of blue in it. So pretty. But we're going to try playing with this Blooming and it's a shimmer so I'm going to see how well it performs with a brush. If not, I'll get my fingers in there. And I just want to put this more toward the outside of my lid. Seems to be doing okay with a brush but I think I might have to get my fingers in there. So as you know those that watch my channel, I usually, you know, always ask for interaction and feedback in the comments. That's how I get to know you guys. I mean, it's one thing we sit in front of the camera and through our channel and videos, you get to know the creators quite a bit. But for me, a lot of having a channel is getting to know those that follow my channel. So I like to ask questions to um, open up communication in the comments and this video is going to be no exception to that aside from you know entering the giveaway and leaving the um, board in a comment I'm interested for those of you that are um, observing Easter you know what your Easter plans are it's always nice to know what everyone else is um, up to when they're not watching YouTube so this seems to have gone on really well with the packing brush I think it's really pretty. It's light and shimmery, but it's not really too bold. When I go to finish my look, if a lot of it has um kind of blended away, I'll go in and put the color back on. So yeah, what are you guys doing for the Easter holiday? Are you cooking Easter dinner? Are you going to church? Are you celebrating the holiday with kids? Um, always interested now. Now. The next shade I want to use, it was a toss-up between this gorgeous light green hair that's called um, Flower Petals, which is a, like a lime type of mint green, but it has a, like a yellowish shift to it. Super pretty. And then this one is called Money Tree, and this has an amazing shift. So this one won out when I was trying to decide what color I wanted to play with next. They're both gorgeous, and even this one above it called um, Best Buds. Oh, super pretty. This was a, I couldn't wait to get into it, but it was so hard to narrow down the colors. It's like I kind of want to play with all of them. The gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I know there people seem to either love Juvia's Place or not love Juvia's Place. It doesn't seem like much of an in-between from what I've talked to with other people. They either love it or hate it. I'm um warming up to it i guess it's just because the first palette i ever used was not a favorite it was the i love i live ice or vice versa that was all blue and i'm not a fan of you know straight up blue eyeshadow so that kind of like um gave a bad you know i had a bad taste in my mouth from that experience. Not because of the shadow, it's just the color of the palette. However, I have purchased some palettes and actually the day before yesterday I used the um, the Tribe palette which is a lot of greens. It's got some yellows, some oranges in it. Gorgeous palette. I'm really starting to fall in love with the Juvia's Place palettes. I think it's just a matter of selecting a color story that speaks to you. 
this thing I started off with a bad color story. So like I said, I, I ever since I saw this palette, before I even started to see people do looks with it, I'm like, I have to have it. I have a weakness for pastel palettes, I've noticed. Um, then once I started seeing looks done, I'm like, I really have to have it. So I caved in and got it. So like I said, when she mentioned, you want to do Juvia, <laughs> Gardner Juvia, I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> And I know Lori has got to have done a gorgeous look. She is amazing. Like, sometimes I look at her finished eye looks and I'm like, you just took that little palette and did that? <laughs> and she always picks out amazing lip colors to go with the eye look she does. But yeah. Okay. So that's where I'm starting. I'm not going to do a lot more because I want to leave it simple. I see I'm already at like 16 minutes. I don't want the video to get too carried away. So I'm going to leave it somewhat simple, light and spring-like. I'm just putting some more of this um, blooming in here because I feel like when I put the money tree, it kind of, some of it kind of disappeared on me. Definitely gonna have to use setting spray. I notice when I use shimmers, the setting spray is a must. I'm not noticing a whole heck of a lot of fallout, a little bit, but not bad. So it's very shimmery. And the more I look at it, I like it light, but to me, it's a little washed out. So I'm sorry. I'm going to do it anyway. That purple orchid that I was talking about with a little hint of blue to it, I'm going to have to put a little bit of it right here in the outer corner because I feel like there's not a lot of color there. And that's what I like. I know a lot of my looks tend to kind of be similar, but I think that you just like what you like. I try to do it different once in a while, but I don't know. I just feel like I fall into like the same habits sometimes just with different colors and different mouths but I don't know I guess it's like whatever works for you yeah I feel like that brings in just a tiny bit more color Do any of you own this palette? And if so, is it a favorite? Because <laughs> it's, I love it. I couldn't wait to get in the play with it. I was so glad to get the opportunity. I think I'm just going to go in with this um, Sweet Lilac, which is the deeper purple, and pop just a little tiny bit of that above my crease for a pop of color. Try to go in light handed. I'm going to add some of that color without getting carried away. For the most part my look like I said I wanted to keep it kind of pastel light simple so I'm gonna go ahead and pause if there's any cleanup that fallout that needs to be cleaned up I'm gonna do that but to be honest I'm not really noticing any so rarely do I do a full face but I'm gonna put on a you know a simple full face I'll be back with the completed look and then we'll talk about the giveaway so I'll be back momentarily Okay, I am back with my face done and the clean up and all that good stuff. So this is what I came up with from the Juvia's Place, Ju Garden of Juvia's. Wanted to go with a light little spring pastel look. 
I think I'm pretty happy with the look I came up with surprisingly enough and I did a full face but I kept it simple I mentioned that I was just gonna do a light little face makeup so I'm gonna quickly tell you what I used on my face today and then we're gonna get into the giveaway um, obviously um, Garden of Juvia's palette again colors super gorgeous for my brows I use this Winky Lux brow pencil most awesome one I'm gonna cry when it's gone <laughs> to prime my eyes I use this Revlon color stay primer very affordable but works really well in my opinion I love this stuff so then on my face I use covergirl BB cream tinted moisturizer I prefer over foundation it feels much better to me on my skin <laughs> And then I use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, a little bit under my eyes to brighten that up. Then I used, for my blush, this e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. And this is in the color, um, oh, where's my glasses? <laughs> it's so tiny, the little sticker on there. The color on this is Always Poppy, like the flower. Love this pretty pink but not too bold didn't go overboard just a little bit of color on my cheeks and then for my highlighter I use this mimosa highlighter from glam light that I just received recently in a mystery bundle from Riri over at the brutally honest beauty gorgeous color a little bit on my nose my cheeks love this then I use to line my eyes this LA colors neon purple eyeliner a little bit you know on the outer under my lashes smudged it in for mascara I use the um, Rimmel London shake it fresh this is awesome mascara it does not clump um, you shake it, it does not clump I've never had it clump so I really love this and for a lip color I kept it simple I use this elf lipstick and this is in the color I looked at it earlier. I can't remember what it says. Um, I think the color is taffy. So I use all very affordable products. Juvia's Place is affordable. Elf, CoverGirl, Revlon, Rimmel London, Winky Lux, all very affordable. So you don't have to spend a lot to have a decent look. And of course, I just took my hair down because I look like a grandma with my hair up all the time. Well, I am a grandma, but anyway. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with a look. I think it's a nice little light spring look. You can let me know what you think down below. Make sure to go check out um, Lori's look. I'll be doing that. I know it's going to be gorgeous. So, the giveaway. We're going to run the giveaway for two weeks. This is going up on April 6th, so the giveaway will end on April 20th, and I'll announce a winner either that Thursday or Friday. I never pin it down to a certain day because sometimes life gets in the way, but I will announce my winner either the 20th or the 21st. So to be eligible for my giveaway, we'll get to that after I show you what's in the giveaway. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. So like I mentioned, when I knew she wanted to use that palette, we were going to go with spring and the whole garden theme. I decided that I wanted to give these away. These are the Profusion palettes. If you watch my bargain bin haul, you see I picked these up and this is a perfect opportunity to give them away. So I will be giving away six of these palettes to one winner. And we have the Romantic Rose. It's all these reds. This, I don't want to take the um, color protector off, obviously, so it's nice and you know perfect for whoever wins. Then we have a Delightful Dahlia, which is just gorgeous. You little purples and stuff. Purples and blues. And then we have Pretty Poppy, which is a little bit more neutral. Terrific Tulip, which I think is, oh, I love this one. Oh, this is just where I think some of it, you know, spilled out of the pan. It has not been touched or anything. You can see the protectors on there. But this is perfect for spring. You've got your pink and your orange and your purple and a neutral here. Oh, this would be perfect. Then we have um, Peaceful Peony, or Peony, depending on how you pronounce it. This one's a little bit more neutral. Again, this looks smudged, but it's got the color protector. I just think that 
it's more of a shimmer and it was a little softer so it might have got kind of icky when they made it it has not been touched and then honest hibiscus which this is also really gorgeous for spring and even into summer look at the pinks and yellows and then this really pale orange gorgeous you can tell what my favorites are <laughs> so the winner will receive all six of these palettes so that's like the big goodie and then if you guys have been watching me I told you I picked this up and I had to give away mine not only are you going to get the six palettes you're going to get a set of eye brushes to use with those palettes so this is a five piece um, eyeshadow brush set with the container for travel and as you see it says I need it it's from palette brushes so you'll get the brushes you'll get the six palettes and the rest will be a mystery because I don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet I will probably pick up a pick out a small box like an ice cream beauty box or something similar put these in whatever room is left I will fill it up like I usually do there will be at least a couple sheet masks in there and whatever else I can fill it in with I'm gonna try to put at least one lip product um, you know so yeah eyes and lips and I don't know I'm just gonna fill it up so in order to be eligible to win the giveaway first of all you must be publicly subscribed to my channel you must be publicly sub subscribed to Lori Latimer's channel okay um, hopefully you've liked both videos we really appreciate that and it really helps our channel also must be 18 or older must have a US mailing address um, I will mention that because there's cosmetic items I'm not responsible for any sensitivities or allergies that's your responsibility to be aware of if they exist and to do you know use common sense with using a new product also I'm not responsible for the package once it leaves my hands and on its way to your hands I have no idea what the USPS does with their packages these days I could tell you stories but I'm not responsible for what happens between it leaving my hands and getting into your hands so that means loss theft damage delayed delivery and whatever else happens in the meantime um, I cannot replace these obviously I will do my best to make sure it's packaged well I will send you um, tracking information once it's on its way so those are the basic rules the entire set of rules will be down in the description box in case I left anything out secret word secret word for the giveaway is since we use garden of juvia's just use the word garden in your um comment in the form of a complete sentence um you could talk about a vegetable garden a flower garden as long as it has garden in there so i think i covered everything if i forgot anything i do apologize once again many thanks to lori for being willing to do this collab with me I was very excited to get to use this palette if you don't have this palette and you love pastels definitely worth checking out so in closing I do want to wish everyone who observes Easter a very happy Easter and for those of you that um, celebrate the true meaning of Easter just a reminder that spring is a season of rebirth and renewal and for those of us that celebrate Easter I think it's important that we remember the true reason that we observe Easter that an ultimate sacrifice was made for all of us and it's a reminder that hope remains and to just take a minute to reflect on that while you're observing and celebrating with your family so for all of you that took the time to join me for a little while today and we'll head over and watch Lori's um, video make sure to enter the giveaway happy Christmas I mean <laughs> happy Christmas happy Easter and until the next time bye everyone